Welcome and welcome back on C Square. In this video clip, we're going to take a look on rational function, discontinuity, and vertical asymptote. So basically, uh, this is what we call a rational function, a quotient of a fraction of two polynomial. And how do we find the points of discontinuities? By um, making the denominator, the bottom of the fraction, equals to zero. Okay, those are going to be the points of discontinuity. I have a note here which uh, is very important when you look for immovable discontinuity you need to factor out and probably that's the first thing you want to do always when you have a uh, rational function think about factoring and see if it can be simplified and then if you can simplify that rational function you have something that we call immovable discontinuity. Uh, vertical asymptote, very uh, simple. They go with this non-removable discontinuity. So basically, whenever you find the non-removable discontinuity, you have the vertical asymptotes. So let's see some example. I'm gonna let's take a look to this number seven. First of all, they ask us the domain. Since this is a rational function, we need to be aware that this denominator cannot be equal to 0, but you see I set up the denominator x squared minus 1 equals to 0. That will give us x squared equals 1. If we add 1 on both sides, I take square root of both sides and we end up with plus or minus 1. What's the meaning of this uh, x equals plus or minus 1? It has a lot of meanings, many meanings. First of all, look at here what I'm going to write. x, when x is a real number, and x cannot be plus or minus 1. What is all this guy here? This is the domain, the domain of the function. Most of the time we're going to write x cannot be plus or minus 1 instead of uh, this statement. So that is the first meaning. The domain of this uh, rational function is any number but positive and negative 1. Okay. These guys have another meaning, which is points of discontinuity. In a previous video clip, we talk about what, this, what these points of the discontinuity are. Um, but if you notice here, we have two types of points of discontinuity, removable or non-removable. These are non-removable. Okay, so one meaning, second meaning of this x equal or x cannot be. And is the last meaning, meaning for uh, this x equal, x equals 1 and x equals negative 1 are the two vertical asymptotes. So you see, by finding uh, the domain, we can find also the points of discontinuity and also the vertical asymptotes. And we have uh, one more, two more things to find the x and y intercept. Y intercept okay? So how do we find the x-intercept? The x intercept is nothing else than y equals 0. The x value for y equals 0. So I'm going to make y equals 0. Right? So, so when is this quotient equals to 0? That is equal to 0 when the numerator, the top of the fraction, is equal to 0. And that will give us uh, x equals negative 2. So the x-intercept is negative 2 and 0. And the last thing we need to find out in this problem is the y-intercept. How do we find the y-intercept? We set up x equals to 0. So in this problem 7, we're going to have y equals 2 times 0 plus 4 over 0 squared minus 1 which is going to be simplified as 4 over negative 1 or just negative 4. So the y-intercept is 0 and negative 4. Um, 
there is one more thing which uh, we didn't talk about holes in this case we have no holes why because we have this vertical asymptote so either you either have vertical asymptotes or hole and you're going to see an example when you have hole but in this moment i would like you to pause this video clip and try number eight If you have this sensor for number 8, you did a wonderful job. So again, the domain is any real number, but positive and negative 2. The points of discontinuity are positive 2 and negative 2. Uh, also, x equals 2 and x equals negative 2 are vertical asymptotes. We have an x-intercept of 3 and 0. And we have an y-intercept of 0 and 3 fourths. So we do not have any holes in this uh, rational function. So let's go to number nine and you notice hopefully that we have something different here. What do we have different? We can factor out the denominator which could have been done in the other problem also but we, we didn't do it and uh, the very important thing here x plus one cancel out so the simplest form of number nine is one over x plus one. However, if we look for the domain, we're going to uh, do the original denominator equals to zero, right? x squared minus one equals zero, which gives us that x equals plus or minus one, right? And again, the same thing like uh, before, we're going to say x cannot be plus and minus one. That is the domain, right? Any number but positive one and negative one, okay? Uh, this uh, one and negative one are points, points of discontinuity. So, so far it's similar, right? The same with the previous problem. And the difference is right now here, because we have a removable discontinuity. Which one is that? Is, is let me show you, is this one, All right? You see, when we cancel out the x plus 1, we uh, cancel out the uh, x equals negative 1. Oops, and here we have x minus 1, sorry. So x equals negative 1 is a point of discontinuity, but it is removable. Removable. Since x equals positive 1, this one, the one that stays, is non-removable okay and now let's take a look to the next thing i said that goes with domain and points of discontinuity which is a vertical asymptote and the holes okay. whenever you have a removable discontinuity x equals negative one in our case that will be a hole in the graph x equals one on the other hand will be a vertical asymptote. 
So the same like in the previous example. And now we have two more things to look at, x-intercept, x-intercept, that means y equals 0. And again we end up with x plus 1 equals 0, right? Which gives us x equals negative 1. So some of you may say, hey, the um, x-intercept is negative 1 and 0. But do not forget... that x equals uh, 1, it's a point of discontinuity. So, in fact, the function is not defined as negative 1. We do not have an x inverse in this case. What about the y-intercept? The y-intercept, like if you remember, is when x equals 0. In this case, we do have uh, what uh, 1 over negative 1, which is negative 1. So it is uh, 0 and negative 1. That's it. This is OK. Again, be careful with uh, removable and non-removable discontinuity. Obviously, sometimes that affects the intercepts, the x-intercept. OK, pause this video clip and try number 10. If you have this answer for problem number 10, a wonderful job. Uh, x equals plus and minus three points of discontinuity. x equals 3D is removable because if you notice, the x minus 3 and x minus 3 cancel out. So, removable. Uh, x equals negative 3, on the other hand, is not removable. It's still here, you notice that. The domain, any number, but positive 3 and negative 3. We have a hole at 3 because uh, this is removable, and we have a vertical asymptote because this is x equal to negative 3 is non removable. We have an uh, y intercept at 0 and negative 3, uh, 0 and 1 third, sorry, and there is no x intercept. Uh, if you enjoyed these video clips, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on Cisco for more math video clips. Thank you.